Well, what's going on YouTube? This is Josh Does RC. It's a name I'm trying out for now because my old brand was what would Josh do on my main channel? And I felt like an RC channel should answer the question, what does Josh do? And Josh does RC. So <laughs> I figured it matches like kind of what I've been doing for the last 10 plus years with my name. So why not continue with it? But this is gonna be my first like repair video for the X-Max. So I'm gonna be replacing my bearings on the tires. So there's one on this side and one on this side. And I'm gonna be replacing them with uh, these from Fast Eddie Bearings. So these were purchased on eBay for me by an amazing person that I love <laughs> very much. So I appreciate it very much. But this is the uh, part number TFE4324. The listing will go down and you'll have to find a new listing, but just search Trisis X Max Bearing Kit and you'll find it. But yeah, so some new bearings. And since I have two tires blow out and both of them super glued, and I also ran this thing through water because I knew I needed to replace my tires. So I was like, why not have a little bit of fun? I'll play in some water. So my bearings are gonna be, uh, you'll see the condition of the bearings after you run them through water. You'll see them when I get to them. But sorry for the long delay. Uh, this is a 1.5, a 2.0, and a 2.5. And I'll be using a Milwaukee drill to put them in. To take your tire off, you must have a 17 millimeter spline tool that comes with your X-Max. I was gonna do this yesterday, but I forgot it in the car and then my wife's at work. So yeah, here we are today. And then some tires that are much needed. I got four of them, which is quite hilarious because here's the tire that my little car, my 118 scale, let's see. We can fit all four of them in less than one wheel space. <laughs> all right, let's get started. We're gonna start by taking off the nut here to, or the whatever this thing is, to release the tire. My dad's actually getting into RC, which is pretty freaking exciting. So I will be able to work on stuff with him. And one of these days I wanna own a nitro or gas, just so I can, you know, get <laughs> very annoyed and upset when it doesn't start, or it does start and it doesn't stay running. And then I can always use my electric in the meantime. <laughs> All right, so this needs to be removed. There's multiple ways you can do it, but what I just do is uh, grab one side. I'm just going to take a little uh, flathead here and put it into this little area and pop it. Oh, ow, that actually, I'm glad I had my hand right there because that sucker stung a little bit when it hit me. I had some force behind it, but so this is going to release the, I think, wheel hex. This is plastic, but yeah. And then that gives you a good look at the first bearing that you're gonna have access to. And uh, yeah, I'm already getting my fingers dirty from touching it. And there's gonna be one on the other side. And what we're gonna do is just pop this little pin out by removing this screw. And that's going to release the screw. And then you can use like a flathead or something to um, push in this side right here. And then remove this little pin. And there we go. <laughs> you could remove the bottom one if you really wanted to, but I don't know if we're going to... You know what? Might as well. Same story. Just get you a little small tool, put it in the hole, and slide out the pin. If you're like me and you have trouble remembering where everything goes, what I recommend is just doing things one at a time. So with this guy, we are basically just going to... Pop it out. Something it's in there good. Like it's it's a it's in there solid sometimes. So with a little bit of persuasion and force. So the bearing isn't like shot. It still spins in there pretty well. But we're still gonna try to get this out. Alright. So we're gonna give it some gentle. Alright, so okay. We're not playing no more. We're 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 taking this seriously. We're even stuttering. That's how serious we are. All right. There we go. And there she goes. That is your drive shaft. There is a giant bearing on this side, which still spins, but it's super dirty. Right there. Still spins. Uh, and then there's this one, which still spins as well. But they are super, like, gross. There's multiple different ways to get this little guy out of here. But uh, the goal is just to kind of like push it out. You can see that it's kind of raised out of there now. 
And there we go. That is a bearing down. That is super, like, yeah, you can see where the water did a number on this axle carrier here. And basically, we're just going to grab this resealable bag. This is my first time doing this, if you can't tell. A little bit of uh, struggling, but actually, you probably couldn't tell that. So I just gave you some information you didn't have. Funny story, both sides uh, kind of tore incorrectly, so I had to just use some scissors. But now what we're going to do is just grab a handful of bearings here and find the one that matches the uh, old one. So it's gonna be, uh, it's not that guy. That guy's actually a little bit bigger. All right, so I found the perfect matching size here. So we're gonna throw this new bearing in there, like such. Boom, new bearing is in. Oh, I've had trouble getting it seated. So ultimately what I used was something you would use to like hold like two pieces of wood together, for example, that you're trying to like uh, glue and or wait for them to, you know, hold. And what I did was uh, use that to apply pressure onto this part. So hopefully that tip comes in handy. So now what we're gonna do is get this other bearing out. What you doing? Making a video. There goes the bearing. All right, if you can see the state of condition of that. Now that could probably be cleaned up and reused because it spins freely. But we've got all these new ones here and that's not the right size. Okay, I have found the right size. Look at the difference in bearings there. Like just night and day. I'm gonna clean these up and see how they perform and save them in case I run out of those. Oh, that spins better. Like that is super smooth with the other one is actually a tiny bit of like, yeah, there's, there's definitely hesitation in this one and this one, there's nothing. It's just nice and perfect. So we're going to take the bigger one and put it on the other side. <laughs> oh, if you uh, do break this, this is called an axle carrier and it's only $6 uh, to buy a new one. So it's not the end of the world. And that pops in there like such, and now we've got a new bearing on both sides. And we'll repeat that for all the other tires. Okay, and the final step is just to take our axle carrier with our brand spanking new perfect bearings that spin super freely and put them back the way we took it off. So we need to take the drive shaft, and I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit. Some people put like grease down in there, and I probably should, because I have a little bit of a squeak, but it'll be fine for now. You just take it and you shove it through. Oh my, that is like, wow, holy. Before I took a hammer to it and I started to feel bad, so I used a, I used a rag and then hammered it harder, but now it's like, goes in there, comes out. So this bearing is, wow, just, just wow, way better. So we're gonna take this and the uh, taller side right here is gonna face uh, the top of the truck. So like this, you're gonna put it into the uh, cup here and we're gonna just start with one screw, put the little rod thingy majig here and we can go ahead and do it to this side as well. Uh, it's not recommended putting these screws in with the drill, but I this is my RC car and if I strip something, uh, it's literally just an A-arm that I'm screwing into and I, can, I have new A-arms ready to go. And when I say ready to go, I literally mean it. Heavy duty, better ones, tougher ones, and they look red, or they are red. So use a drill at your own risk for putting screws back in, but if, as long as you're careful, as soon as it provides a little bit of tension, I stopped. Because this is an impact after a certain point, and you don't want the screw to strip. As soon as there's a little bit of tension, I'm good to go. Now it's in, we just put our new clip in, my dad actually taught me this little trick here where you grab it like and you basically just wait this isn't all the way in there's there should be a little bit more for me to grab onto my apologies one second and there we go see you're going to need a little bit of room right there to put the ring around so i basically just took one screw out pop the drive shaft back in and then put the this back in here and then put the screw back in. So, if you're like me, it's easy to fix it. As I was saying, grab this, 
and basically, there we go. Now we can take our brand new tire and put it on. And if this is your first time putting an X-Max tire on, there's actually a rotation way. So like the tire is gonna go this way, for example. So we're gonna put that on. Okay, if you know how to do this, you're probably cringing right now because that's supposed to go on first. Put this on and then put this on. Now we can take our screw and we can screw in the tire. All right. Now I'm gonna try to go a little bit faster. Uh, if you're like me and you're kind of questioning yourself, uh, the arrow on this tire is facing this way. So this wheel moves like this. So this is gonna match and go that way as well. All right, time to do the same thing to this side. And that's the best part about this. If you ever get lost, just do one side at a time. So that way you can look over at your other one and see, yep, okay, so the spline, the thing right here is held in by the little clip. So we are good to go there. And my tire, this tire is shot. Old tire, new tire. Little, little, little bit of a difference there. Hmm. Put that on side, put that way. Just take your flathead, pop that up, remove this. Remove the screws. Remove the pin so it's gonna be on this side. Same thing. Remember this, the like longer part, this is like stubby, short, this is longer. It's gonna go towards the top of the truck and this is gonna go towards the bottom of the truck. So same story, we're gonna pull this out, which is the same as the other one. We're just gonna go ahead and hammer it out. And there we go, it is released. Now we've got these, we're gonna pop these out. You've got the big bearing on the like inner side here and the outer side has the smaller one. See, yeah, okay, so it's not gonna go in this way. It has to go in this way, but this one, We'll go on this way just fine. So bigger bearing on the inner side, smaller bearing on the outer side. Found a bearing that matches, uh, and then this one's not perfect. There we go, that one's perfect, matches it. Gonna give the uh, inside here just a nice little cleaning of all the water and dirt and stuff that's collected in there. And wore out those bearings. And we're gonna give this just a little bit of a cleaning here. It's got a little bit of a squeaky squeak to it. Need to get some grease on it. I will do that later. And now we take the bearing, which only goes on this side, pop it in. And then this bearing, pop it in, boom. This should go in a little bit easier than before. Make sure you can see that little like lip here past this little, like, the teeth, or whatever, the gears, and this little, anyways, this little ring right here, anyways, put this back in, this side's gonna go down towards the bottom of the truck, or the top of the truck, which it's facing bottom right now, so that's why it's throwing me off, we're gonna throw in these little retaining thingies, uh, that's the best part about this hobby, is I'm enjoying it, I am learning as I go, uh, eventually I will have to do diffs, which I've not done yet, but once you do it, you learn from it, you move on and you get better at it. All right, that's in. So we're gonna throw this on, grab our clip, put the clip here. And the rotation matches. This front tire has it going this way. So this has it going this way. We're gonna put it on. And then secure the tire like we did the other side. And now we're gonna do the same thing to the front two tires and then we'll be done. And now I will attempt to go a little bit faster for the sake of speeding up the video, so. Also what you could do if you wanna be better than me 
is look at your tire that you're taking off and see the rotation is facing this way, the arrow. So we can start by knowing that's not the right tire, but this is the right tire. Whoops, I misspoke. The first tire is actually facing the correct way. So we'll take the tire that we're not gonna use for this side and move it over here. Tire off, remove the little pin there, remove this, take out the screws. Sometimes these come out without you to use a hammer, which is pretty convenient. So the front is a little different. We're stopping here uh, because now we've got this um, axle carrier and C-hub. Unless I'm saying that wrong, and this is actually the C-hub, and this is the axle carrier. Uh, either way, I know one of those is right. So either flip it and reverse it like Missy Elliott, or accept that I'm new to this and I may be wrong. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and just go ahead and remove this. All right, so this time our bearing was attached to this, which happens sometimes. And there's definitely some resistance in this bearing. So now you're gonna see that we have the bearing on the inner, or the outer, sorry, but the bearing on the inner is not there because it's here. Not gonna lie, that's being a pain in the ass to get off, but we're gonna keep trying. When I tell you it's being stubborn, uh, this is what I've done so far. I was able to get that. So I'm just sticking it right here and then hammering the top of that. And there she goes, it is off. Definitely gonna clean this up a little bit. It probably would be better to let it soak in something to get all of the old nasty stuff out, but I don't have stuff to soak it in. And I don't know the correct stuff to soak it in. So we're just gonna clean it for now and we'll revisit this later. Because bearings don't last forever anyway, especially when you're running through water. Remove that bearing. Whew, okay, that's a struggle. They're both out. Take your bearings, find matching ones. That matches perfectly, and that matches perfectly. Put one here, one here. Put your drive shaft back in. Push hard enough to see the little thing that we just showed earlier in closer detail. Put the drive shaft back in the cup. Put your pins back in. The screws that hold the pins in. Put this back on. Put the clip back on. And put the tire back on. And we're definitely getting faster at this, like, I notice a difference in my speed for sure. Yes, dear? Hey, you know how we stopped and wanted uh, $15 on my lottery ticket? Yeah? And it's actually 40 What? You finally cashed it? Yeah. I, I, yeah, I finally cashed it. It was $40. Wow. That's awesome. It's better than thinking you won 40 and winning 15 <laughs> All right, now we're down to the final stretch. Remove the last and final tire. Remove the little clip thingy here. Remove this. Remove two screws here. Remove the little pins. All right, drive shaft is stuck like all the other ones. So we will call in our little friend persuasion here and remove it. And the bearing did not come out with that one. Uh, I'm going to let these soak in something that cleans them eventually because there's like a little bit of grime and stuff like you can't really get at it. But hey, it's definitely going to be better than it was. Pop out the bearings. A one and a two. Find matching bearings, perfect size. Matching bearings, perfect size. Clean out the axle carrier. 
Open out this side of the axle carrier. We are gonna put the new bearings in. Just sneak it in underneath the uh, C-hub here. So this is the one that's gonna cause me a little bit of persuasion here. I've literally had no trouble. With... Oh, okay, I just didn't have it in. Okay, okay. Disregard, disregard. These bearings are so nice. They look good. They spin super smooth. Like, I'm gonna keep buying Fast Eddie bearings. There's one more in there. All right, this is it. This is it. Put the drive shaft in. Make sure it goes in all the way. There we go, we can see the little thing. Uh, put it in the little cup here. And line this up. Put in the retaining pin. All right, put in the bottom retaining pin. Oh, all right. Put in the final two screws. This drill is so unique. Like, it's so precise, it's so nice. I love it, love it, love it, love it. And it's small, it's compact. I've got a small battery on here, they make a much bigger battery. But for my uses, uh, I'm still on the original charge from getting the uh, battery. So it comes with a fast, well, I have a fast charger for it. And so when it does die, I can charge it quickly. So yeah, as soon as there's just the tiniest hint of, uh, you know, like, uh, pressure it stops and don't squeeze the trigger harder otherwise now you are in the impact mode and you don't want to do that to a screw on rc and sometimes these pins don't want to be very friendly so i'm taking a little bit of time with this last one here since we're almost done to show you that sometimes it is a little bit of a hassle to get it on there we go so just push the clip on all the way now we mount the final last tire oh my gosh it's almost time to go play with it so excited all right put the last screw on it's not a screw but whatever i'll take it and there we go we have four brand new tires and eight new bearings installed. <laughs> I still find a stack of four tires quite hilarious. I've never had four new tires for my X-Max. I just replaced two of them when I can literally hold a stack of four tires for my little 118 scale. And it's, yeah. <laughs> oh, so much fun. All right, and if you wanna see the carnage, we've got one set of dirty bearings two set of dirty bearings, three set of dirty bearings, and four set. Now, I'm going to get some stuff to soak them in and clean them up and see if I can reuse these in the future. But if not, then it's okay. I will, uh, I've got some more here. So I don't think I have any, I don't, I think it's a complete, it's a complete set. So I don't have any more that'll match. Like this bearing is actually different from this bearing. So there's no more of these that go on the uh, inner side towards the uh, vehicle. Uh, there's no more of those. So you have just enough for one complete set. But there we go. All done. I learned a lot in this video and the next time I do this, it will be more efficient. It'll be faster. And there we have it, eight new bearings. Four new tires. Less squeak too, that's nice. If you enjoyed watching it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment, please. Let me know what you think. Uh, made some mistakes and uh, learned from them and hopefully you did too. And if this was your first time, let me know in the comments below because I'm sure there's tons of other videos like this out there and you chose to watch mine, so I appreciate that. This is Josh Does RC and I am out.